Hello everyone, this is Monica Peters. I'm a student at Full Sail University. I'm in the mobile development course and this month I'm in mobile interfaces and usability class. Today is March 8, 2012 and I'm working on project two, week two into the class. And I'm going to the first question is how did JQM help me create the UI? Uh, jQuery mobile, obviously it made it um, designing you know the the buttons and the nav the nav bar the header the footer all of that JQ mobile made it go a lot quicker because I didn't have to do any custom CSS to make it work on all mobile devices another question to answer is how will project 3 improve my form design well here's my form here and project 3 from what I read is going to I'm going to be adding more um, helpful hints for the user to give them help on like what they should be inputting in here and also helpful feedback right on the page. And now I'm going to demo all of the features in my app. Now this is app A here is on the left, app B is here on the right, and I'll talk about app A first. Um, the first thing I did was for a list inlay I have it on um, this page here when you click show all projects this is my list inlay and these are all of the projects right here um, and you can actually because I have like more than 25 projects in here so you can search or actually it's called a data filter so my projects um, are categorized by type so I have like HTML5, iOS, Android things like that so if I only want to see my iOS projects um, this filter up here will show only the iOS projects that are in my local storage. Um, and like I can do, I don't know, say WordPress. So now it shows like all the projects that are in WordPress. Um, the other place where I have um, a list inlay is in my news stream. And my news stream, I put it in to a list showing all my newest projects. They are organized by date. The oldest date one is at the bottom. The newest date, the one that was most recently added to the projects, is on the top. And let's see, also thumbnail and text. That would also be right here on my new stream and also um, what else? What's the other question? Oh, and also right here is thumbnail and text on a list for the browse feature. And I have the escape hatch as a back button. Now the nav bar is at the bottom of all of my pages and it's the same for both. I wasn't really happy with this in this app, um, mainly because I used to work for someone they were, um, they were very strict in, in regards to making everything object oriented and this app definitely is not object oriented. Uh, a lot of recoding the same thing over and over again. Um, but that's new for me because I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm new to mobile development. So this whole thing with creating multiple pages within one HTML file is new to me. It's great because um, I learned a lot with this project which I'll show in the app B. Right now I'm showing app A. Um, I also removed, here's the home page, I removed, I used to have a search bar up here, I removed it because it doesn't even make sense because number one, it doesn't work that way in this app. The search is when you're looking at all of the projects all at once, that's the only thing to really search and it's actually a data filter, it's not really a search um, in the, the traditional sense. And... Oh, for the list of items, I guess some people do pagination. I prefer not to in this one. It just doesn't make sense. I don't I don't like doing that on mobile devices. I'd rather have a filter or um, you know, an endless list, the list that keeps going and going and going, kind of like what you see on Facebook, which is what's going on in this app. It's just a never-ending list. It just keeps going on and on and on. So the data filter at the top makes it easier to uh, filter through. So now 
I'm going to talk about app B, which is here on the right, but I'm going to pull it up in, um, in app A here. On this too, on my nav bar, I have an info navigation, which gives links to um, all my code on GitHub. So now I'm going to talk about app B and why I did what I did. This is app B. I have the nav bar on the bottom. And the nav bar only includes home, which we're on, a contact page, which gives contact info, and info, again, to my GitHub stuff. So I'm going to go back home. I find this app B is a lot easier to navigate. It's more consistent, which um, I prefer consistency. Also, all of my code is on one HTML file. Um, and I should say all of my pages are on one HTML file. Um, and I made it, you know following the JQ mobile uh, directions. I have on show all, oh here's my home page and I have um you know my features here add new project newest projects show all projects or delete all projects. When now I needed to do a one window drill down for this um, assignment and I wish I could get those icons in here, but I'm going to have to edit my JavaScript, my main.js, and I don't have time this week to do that. But here's my one window drill down, um, and it shows, it has all the icons. It's also a list and lay for each of these. And what else do we have to do? Um, I mentioned the nav bar is on the bottom of everything. Oh, and I removed the footer because um, last week I had a huge footer. It was taking up too much space, and um, Robin caught that for me because I didn't even notice at first. I was focusing on other things, so I removed it, and it does work a lot better now. Um, what else we got? Nav bar. Thumbnail grid, yes. I also did a thumbnail grid in App B for now newest projects. These are a, This is a thumbnail grid. Um, instead of, I don't know if you remember on app A, what I did for newest projects was it's a new stream. On this one, it's a thumbnail grid. And it's also one window drill down because you can click on the thumbnail image to see the info. And you can even go directly to this website that I'm talking about for each project, which I don't want to load up right now. Let's go back. So here's my thumbnail grid, nav bars at the bottom, footer's gone, let's see, yep, and I got, um, oh, and to do anything, like um, any kind of actions in this application, which pertains to your projects, it's all on the home page. Um, it just made more sense that way and it worked better with the way our original JavaScript file, the main.js is written, it works much better if all of the pages and everything, um, all the actions pertain, like doing anything with the list as far as creating a new item, reading it, editing it, deleting it. It works way better with the way our main JS is if all of that is on one file, which is what I have here. Um, and it works really well. Like it's all working. So I'm happy with that. Um, I mean, of course, there's things that can be changed. Um, oh, and these are, these the way they're listed is by date, like this is the newest one and it goes to the oldest project is back there. And what else can I show on a show all projects? Again, it's just a one window drill down. Not happy with this yet. I really want to do a thumbnail and text, a grid layout or something in there, which I hopefully I will get to next week. And I think... I think I showed everything. Let me just make sure. Yep, delete all projects, home. That's everything. All the questions. Any other questions for this? How project improve? Nope, I think I've answered everything. Um, it's been another good week of learning. Pretty happy. I can't wait to get started on project three. Goodbye.